Hi, my name is Samantha Potterhorn, and here is my fitness journey. Fitness changed my life a lot because before I would not be able to keep up with my kids. I would just sit around and just watch TV and binge eat. And uh, now today I can, they can say, come and uh, let's go to the park. I'll be like, let's go or let's go swimming, let's go. Like, it's always like, before I would say, oh, I'm too, I, I'm tired. I just want to sit here and watch TV. But now we're like, can we do something? And I'm like, okay, let's go. We're, we're in on it and we, we just go now. It's a very active um, lifestyle now with my kids and we're making really, really good memories now. I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer in 2015 and I lost my brother uh, two weeks later after I was diagnosed and we had to bury him um, in the beginning. So this happened, I was diagnosed with April 1st. He died April 23rd. We had to bury him May 1st and I had to have surgery end of May and they took out my whole thyroid because of cancer. And then two months later, my dad was diagnosed with stage four bone cancer and he had to have two major surgeries and he's still kicking around today yeah and uh after all this i thought everything was going to be good and in november me and my ex-husband of 16 years separated and after that that's when i started gaining the weight a lot has to do with my my thyroid um and because after I had my baby in 2018, my he's four now, uh, I was going downhill. I was eating whatever I want. I didn't do anything. I was just getting bigger and bigger and bigger because of the thyroid. It controls your metabolism and it makes you gain weight quicker. And it's harder to lose weight. So I was just, I was gaining, gaining, gaining. And then the last, the doctor's appointment told me my weight. I was at 254 and I was like, I had to change. I was like, if I keep going at this rate, I'm not gonna be able to see my grandbabies or my kids grow up. And I really had to go into check mode that time. And that's where I got the determination and encouragement and just to get it done, you know, like I was always a determined and uh, determined person throughout like all my life, but I was a binge eater. I always ate to cover my comfort, like comfort eating, like always eat, eat, eat. And uh, for me to overcome that part of me was probably the major part of me. Because when I first started my journey in 2019, I starved myself. I wouldn't eat. And now I eat 2000 calories a day and it's like healthy choices. I eat really good and for the past month, I started logging my food for the first time in like just this past month and I've already lost 10 pounds. Yeah, and I was just started logging my food. I would look, okay, I got this much carbs and then I'll like, sh like watch what I eat during the day. If I t had too much fat, I'll watch what I eat during the day or protein, you can't eat too much protein. So I love protein. So it's it was a very, um, life-changing like for me like and plus i was an alcoholic so i had to uh i had to really uh focus on that part of me too um it was i grew up with it i had a problem with it all my life since i was probably 13 and it became really bad when covid started um i would take it everywhere with me. It was really bad. So uh, quitting alcohol was the first step for me. And then two weeks later, that's when I started getting on my like consistent of working out and eating healthy. So I think it's about 44 weeks now of consistent working out and eating healthy. And it's 320 days today since my last drink. I haven't been the happiest I've been all my life. Since I joined Fit Club, um, okay, I'll just go back a little bit. Um, 
I started my journey at home. I was working out at home and I thought I was doing what I needed to do. And then I, I signed up with an online coach and she started me on workouts and nutrition and mindset. And I felt like I was staggering. Like I was stalling, like I wasn't really getting anywhere. And then when I joined Fit Club, I stepped my foot in these doors and I was like, okay, this is where I need to be because I love that steadiness, like go and the encouragement and the people and the vibe. And I'm like, whenever like I come here and my days, I come here on Monday, Wednesday and Friday, I am like excited. It's, it's, it's weird. Like I, I just, I just love it. Like I, it's the best investment I've made on myself because I'm a mom of six kids and I put myself aside all the time and I don't really invest in myself. That's why I worked out at home. That's why I, I did that at home because it's cheaper. Right. But then when I, when I step my foot in his doors, I'm like, yeah, this is where I need to be. And I really love the coaches. I really, love the people, the vibe and the workouts. It's amazing. I think I lost about 10 pounds since joining uh, Fit Club. I'm pretty sure. I don't really measure my, my fat or uh, muscles. Yeah, so. I was that person where I'm like, I'm not gonna get up early and go work out. Who does that? That's crazy, you know? I would be like that. And then, and then now I'm like, my online coach, she really changed my mindset on that. She was like, you need to make a morning routine. You need to do it like how it's like, a, like benefit for your life. So then I was like, okay. I, and she kept saying, Getting, get out of your comfort zone. And that's a major change I had to do because I was like, I'm an introvert. I don't want to go see people. I was like that kind of person. And she kept saying, get out of your comfort zone, get out of your comfort zone. So, so I did. And that's when I started, I joined Zumba class. I joined AA meetings and then I joined Fit Club. So it's amazing. What do I do to overcome my stress? I take a moment. I take a moment to just uh, think of things to be grateful for. Um, every, every morning when I wake up, uh, I always think of my health. I wake up for, and I think about, oh, I just gotta be grateful I'm here because cancer could have took me, you know? And then that's just what's, it just lightens my day. And then I always think of things to be grateful for and I look at my kids and it's like, I'm breaking this cycle. I grew up, like I had a shitty childhood and just being able to overcome that and provide this life for my children makes me happy. And that's what drives me every day. My son, he's a hockey player. Uh, he's 13. My daughter, she's 16 and she thinks she knows it all right now. She was a hockey player, but she doesn't want to be, but she said she wants to join boxing. And my daughter, who is five, oh, she's a gymnastics. And whenever she sees me work, like I work up early in the mornings at home and they're sleeping. And uh, I just, whenever on the weekends I work out at home and she comes downstairs and she wants to lift those weights. What are you doing? Like, and I'm like, you want to join me? And I try to teach her, like I, I try to encourage them. And whenever I go for a walk, you want to come for a walk? Do you, like I try to include them as much as I can. What is my favorite healthy dish? Okay, I must say salad because I've hated vegetables all my life. And that's the biggest thing that I had to change with uh, my eating was to change how I thought about salad because I would always stay away from it. But now like I tried these many different salads and I think the tuna tequila is what it's called is my favorite. Like whenever I have like a tuna craving, I would go get that. I love deadlifting. I can deadlift 165 pounds. What sold me is uh, when Coach RJ said, uh, he posted something on his uh, story. He said, I can't remember how it was quoted, but he said, would you rather spend your money on junk food and alcohol and splurge a dare or make it a healthier choice for yourself? And that really got me. I'm like, you know what? I got to do this for myself. I've been doing it for so long and my kids need me healthy. I need myself healthy. And it's just, it's so like, I just, I, I stepped my foot in the doors the first day and I'm like, yep, yeah, this is, this is it. 
Oh man, I can, I'm gonna first start off with Jen. I love coming into her classes. I love her motivation, her encouragement. And if you're in a different, like if your form is not right, she'll correct you and she encourages you. And just her energy and her support is just, it really gets me going like whenever I'm trying like whenever I'm like trying to like die down in my workout she's like you got this Sam and then I just keep going I'm like yeah that's that's what I need and for coach RJ he sends me these weekly challenges and I've been doing them since day one and I've been really learning a lot from them and uh, this past week is uh, gratuity and I've really appreciated because I think about it more and also at the end of the day, I would think about uh, reflection and wins. And I would just sit on my bed because I've never done it. Like I thought I've done it, but I've never really done it. So when I, I did it this week, I sat there and I'm like, wow, like just reflecting on your day and your wins really, really makes you proud, you know, like especially being a single mom of six kids and working full time and to be able to stay fit and stay healthy is is really amazing like i just i cannot appreciate them like i i just they i appreciate them so much it's just thank you coaches oh they're so encouraging they're supportive um they like when you're working out this one time i was i think i was throwing the ball up and down and I was gonna give up. And then one lady standing over, she's like, you got it, Sam, keep going. And there's like 10 seconds left. And I was like, okay, let's go. Just that it's like, it feels like a family. Like they got you, they encourage you and uh, they support you, motivate you, inspire you too. Like, it's amazing. What would I tell myself? Oh man, you know what I think about? I, I think about my late brother all the time whenever I'm working out. And now that he's not here, and if I knew that he wouldn't be here, I would tell myself that he's there with you and he's beside you and he's encouraging you. And I'm gonna cry saying this because he's always been that person, you know? I was never a runner. I'd never ran in my life. I couldn't run a block. Now I can run five kilometers. And whenever I'm running, I could see, I can feel him and see him. And uh, I would tell myself that no matter what, even though he's not here, he's always here. What would I tell about somebody about joining Fit Club? Um, it's it's a life changing, it's like it's a life changing decision, and you won't regret it. I I don't. I love coming here. I'm thinking of probably going five days a week now. Um, it's very, the, the coaches are amazing. The people is amazing. The community is amazing. Um, it's just such a great place to be. And I would recommend Fed Club anytime. Like I try to, to my friends, but they're more of into their bad habits versus healthy habits. So it's harder too. And I seen this quote and it's stuck with me forever. I'm going to get a tattooed on me one day, but it says, you don't know how strong you are until you have no choice but to be.